joining us now is the senior, y'all, for BYU basketball <laughs> next <senior>. year. <laughs> the only one, Kyle Davis, back in Studio B. When we say that, what goes through your mind, Kyle? It's kind of crazy for me to think that I'm a, finally a senior. I graduated in high school in 2010, so it seems like it's been <laughs> it's been coming for a long time. But uh, kind of crazy that, that it's finally here and it'll be my last year to play college basketball. Yeah, that is crazy. And it, and it's weird because you turn the page, but but have you on the season? I mean, it was what last week you played yeah. on Tuesday in New York. I'd say it's still it's still really fresh. It's it's kind of hard to believe that the season's over. We were all kind of talking about that as we were driving home and flying home, like. There's no practice tomorrow. It's over. And it was. It's. It's. Uh. It's kind of a sad moment because you're gonna miss the the guys that you played with. Uh, sad to say goodbye to Kyle, Chase, and Nate. But excited for the new guys coming in. And that that is the good thing about not being a senior when it when it ends because you can always look forward to the next season. So, how would you describe the last year of basketball for this BYU team? You know, I think I'd describe it just as it being an incredibly fun time. When you think about the the real a year ago, we were preparing to go to Spain. We were getting ready for what turned out to be a very fun season. We had some ups and downs. Sometimes uh, things just didn't quite go our way. We had some real letdowns, but overall we had a great time. I thought we we did some good things, some successful things. We made it to New York and the NIT. We uh, played well throughout the year. Just had some of those letdowns, which you, you remember, but. Uh, a great thing for us to build upon moving forward with some young guys that'll be back and uh, it'll be this season will help us in the next season i think okay our twitter question is this what movie best represents the 2015-16 BYU basketball season what do you got i'd say uh the force awakens star wars of course Ooh, uh, that was a pretty good one uh, i'll fill you in the the basketball team we are big star wars lord of the rings fans okay. so uh kind of nerdy in that sense that's why i love <laughs> that's why i love you guys that's why we're friends now, The Force Awakens, is that a play on what's to come next year for your senior campaign? Yeah, <laughs> yes, exactly. It's it. And we got some great players coming in, too, that will add to that. And uh, The Force Awakens is a good fit because uh, the day it came out, we played uh, Central Michigan the next day. So pretty much everyone went and saw it the day it came out. And then the next day we played Central Michigan and played really well in one. So uh, maybe there was a correlation. We should okay. watch Star Wars before every game. <laughs> now I'm trying to think who's who. I'm like, who's BB-8? Who's Ray? Who's Finn? You know, I, I, the, everything's going through my mind right now. I, I don't there you know. go. Twitter can determine yeah. who we all are. <laughs> I said Batman Superman because it had the potential to be really good. Maybe it wasn't quite what you wanted. You wanted to get in the NCAA tournament. But then in comes, you know, Aquaman, the Flash, and Cyborg, and the Justice League to kind of save the day of the next season. What do no you think question. Of that? I like that. That's a good yeah. one. That's a very good one. He said Jurassic World. Chris Pratt starring as Kyle Collinsworth, triple threat actor, comedy, <laughs> sci-fi, you know, action. Perfect, yeah. He got a couple of Raptors bud Raptor buddies, Nick Emery and Chase Fisher. They're amazing, but you're kind of unpredictable are, at times. What are you then? What dinosaur are you? Uh... Pterodactyl. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. High flyer? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I'm such a high flyer. <laughs> Kyle Davis with us on BYU Picking Sports people Nation. Out of the sky. <laughs> Recapping the 2015 2016 season and turning the page uh, to next season. But before we jump full steam ahead into next year, looking at what you did on the floor, and I just asked this question to Tim Lacombe as well, where do you feel like you were the most successful? with basketball schematics on the floor this year? What was the best part of BYU basketball? Man, I think uh, one thing I think we grew as a team is we hadn't played much together. And when you look at it from the beginning of the season to the end of the season, we were a very uh, we were very together. Our offense started to flow well. We started to, to really run things the way we wanted to do and play at a pace that we wanted to play at. And I think that is one thing schematically we did really well as we started to, to run our offense at an effective way from a because you look at the team a year before you had guys they didn't have a senior so they all came back their senior years and everyone was the same on the team so they had that chemistry built in that was something this team didn't have the the luxury of having so by the end of the season I thought schematically we were, we were quite good at, at, at running uh, our offense effectively yeah watch the Long Beach State game the season yeah. opener and compare that to let's say I don't know the Virginia Tech or the Creighton game and it's it's worlds yeah. worlds of difference there's no there's no real comparison we were crisp and effective and especially in the nit those last couple of games were maybe our best the, the first three games as, as far as running an offense so uh and then unfortunately we, we got a little cold there in the first half against uh valparaiso but then the second half again was 
just kind of back to, to what we'd been doing. So that was something we got much better at towards the end of the season. Is it weird that uh, the fan base has kind of been looking forward to the beginning of this next season, the next couple of years, like more than anything? C- because there's a current season and you were playing games, but it was like, hey, when those lone P guys get back, that's like the idea with the fan base, right? Yeah, and, you know, I, I don't think it's uh, a bad thing or, or a weird thing necessarily they're doing that. Those guys were so successful. They won the, the national championship. I, I was on my mission during that time, so I wasn't around for all the hype, but everything I've, I've heard is, is, is it was just an incredible team. So BYU fans have, have a lot to be excited for in that. There's, there's guys that have been successful together. They have chemistry, and now uh, you mix in other good players from other places, older players, senior like myself. And the Eric senior. Come, the senior, that's right. And <laughs> Eric coming back, and uh, it's just going to be a, a, a fun fun ride for the next couple of years, and, and hopefully for my sake, a, a really fun ride next year. What are your expectations uh, as an individual and as a team next year, given that you do have an influx of talent and an influx of youthful talent coming in? Yeah, I think uh, for our team, we look at the same – goals something that we want to accomplish that a BYU team hasn't done is win a regular season championship win a championship in general but win a regular season championship or, or the the WCC championship because you do those things you're for sure you'll get into the NCAA tournament you win the the tournament and you win the regular season you're likely to get in the NCAA tournament so you it's play something a tougher we schedule do. than St. Mary's yeah so, so I don't think there's any question in, about that think, right? yeah, yeah yeah no question yeah they didn't play in like a Bahamas or Hawaii or whatever kind of tournament. Yeah, so nah. it ends up being that situation. Yeah, and, and, and it's interesting, too, because you're going to lose Kyle Collinsworth, yet the expectation is that this team will be better. Is it be, it, do you think that's because there's maybe more depth on the squad? Because there's a lot of new faces on this next year's team. Yeah, I think the thought of replacing Kyle, that can't really be done. He's such an incredible player. He does such a unique thing on the court, being just a, a triple threat man in so many ways. So... I don't know if you, we look to replace him necessarily, but you look to just add in another great player, a, a guy that can come in and, and be his own man and, and do great things. And I, from what I hear, TJ sounds just like that guy, and there'll be other players that come in and play well. Jordan Chapman will ha, has his freshman year under his belt and was really sharp throughout the season. And there are other guys that will step up and play well too. So we'll, you can't replace him, but you can find guys that will play really well and, and make up for, for his loss. Elijah Bryant uh, is a guy that has sparked a lot of interest and intrigue because he's he's kind of he's he's the guy that was Chase Fisher and you went through that role as well where you had to sit out a year and just watch and and learn and and grow in the system. But what can you tell us about Elijah Bryant uh, that you've seen from practice that he will bring to this club next year? Yeah, well, I I can say BYU fans have a a lot to be excited about for uh, Elijah. He is a great player. He he's very skilled big and strong he can shoot he can drive uh will be a great defensive player i think byu fans can be very excited for him i I know i am excited to play with him playing against him every day and scout team wasn't as fun as it's going to be (laughs) playing with him so so we look forward to him and and byu fans can can be excited to watch him play he's going to bring a lot of excitement and and a fun player to watch can you give us any dirt on him he's joining us tomorrow (laughs) oh man Uh, aka the weekend the weekend yeah yeah his hair, it's incredible. It's long. It's flowy. We'll see what Coach Rose does about it. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, when, when you look at Eric Mika, now this is a guy you played against when you were at Utah State yeah. in Energy Solutions Arena. I think you had a 16-9 and nine and he had a 15-9. and nine. Mm-hmm. Yet, in my opinion, you're going to start at the four, he's going to start at the five. What's that going to be like to be teammates with that guy? Oh, it'll, it'll be a blast. Having played against him, I know even just as a freshman, he's only a couple years into his career at that point. Uh, he demanded a lot of attention and in practice and scout team as we got ready for him in particular he required a lot of attention so it'll be fun playing with him and not against him and I just remember him being a, a big physical and, and quite skilled player he, I think he caught an alley-oop in that game and threw it down so I'm excited to be on his team and, and not against him who will be the emotional leader of BYU basketball next season I know you're the Wiley veteran you're the senior the guy that's been around for a while and played at a couple of different programs you have that perspective, but is there a guy that's going to be the get-in-the-face guy next year? You know, I think a lot of that stuff will uh, play itself out over the summer and the beginning of practice. Uh, there's there's obviously a lot of guys that play with, with great emotion on this team. You can think of just a couple off the top of your head. Nick, uh, a very passionate player, but, uh, you know, those are the type of things that will be great for this team because it's going to be young, and this summer we're going to be playing three-on-three three or, or playing full court, and it's going to get uh, heated and chippy and, and 
those type of things will work itself out and the players that will be more vocal and more passionate will uh, will be that way and it will be more determined during the summer rather than when the season comes up. Those pickup games, man. Those will be fun. Yeah, they will be fun. They'll be great. <laughs> we're, uh, I think we're going to get after it today. So. There you go. Very good. Kyle, have you signed our new have you signed our new stretch wife flag? I did. I you have it signed it. That yeah. is correct. Oh, that's right. It. Yeah. You, you came in the day after the, the super, Creighton game. The super high signature. Which that I, is right. I said you needed to play well in, and you did. So Yes, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. I was gonna say too, I've yeah. come on here a couple of times. I think this is your first time being here in a with, while with when you? I've been here, yeah. Oh. This is it's good to see you. I didn't you. know you were coming on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, you could have taken a break. I'm, like, yeah. I'm sick. Give me we out threw of here. Jerem a curveball for sure. Kyle, awesome, great to have man. you. About Thank to be a new father. What's the countdown at, man? So July 10th. It's going to be awesome. We're, we're looking 10th. forward to it. Very exciting. Getting that much closer. Kyle, again, thanks for the time. And thanks, uh, some BYU Sports Nation karma to you to survive this summer. Yes, and, exactly. And finals coming up. Finals are coming up. That's oh, right. I left my group. Give them a shout out. <laughs> we'll talk politics next. <laughs> no, we won't.